this is Rachel Cipriano, and I want to continue the conversation about how we can be resilient during these very unprecedented, difficult times. In my last video, I talked about the importance of human connection, how it's the oxygen of resilience, and how the terminology social distance would be better off uh, phrased as physical distance, because we most certainly need social connection to maintain our immune systems, our physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual health. Today I want to talk about another term that is frequently being used, which is essential versus non-essential worker. You know, words matter. They're very powerful. And I don't think you need to be a linguistic scholar to realize labeling a large segment of the population as non-essential and taking away their livelihoods and the ability to to flourish and reach their potential is going to have a detrimental effect in their lives. And we see the evidence of this all around us. There's domestic violence, child abuse, addiction, suicidality, all of these very negative effects of people who are struggling through these challenging times. And as I mentioned in my last video, the necessity, these are what you call maladaptive, destructive coping strategies. But what we need to find are the very positive, life-giving coping strategies. And I mentioned how through our human connection, that's a big way that we can maintain our health even when we are in such difficult times. Also, I want to encourage those of you who have been labeled as non-essential, and even if you haven't, we're all just bombarded with those messages daily, to choose to view yourself in a far more life-giving, positive way. The reality is you are essential. You are essential to the people in your lives. You are essential to uh, others and the contribution you can make you know, maybe it isn't by sewing someone up after a surgery or, you know, doing some of these other positions, you know, driving the food to, to where it needs to be so that we can make sure we can eat. And I, I celebrate all of those workers, and I think that's wonderful. But just realize that when people are divided by that kind of terminology, it can have a detrimental effect on people's resilience. It can foster a sense of um, being marginalized and uh, feeling less valued and essential, obviously. So I just want you to think about that. Think about, you know, what language is being used and choosing yourself to view yourself, not by the labels that society or, you know, those in the media may give you, but what you yourself tend to um, recognize as your value. You are more than your position in the first place. And I just want you to think about that because I think it's a very, very important aspect of what is currently going on that can definitely uh, make a difference and how well people maintain the resilience and are able to cope with this crisis. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. I'd really appreciate it. I want to get this information out to as many people as I can because we are in very difficult times and people need the installation of hope and encouragement, and that's what I'm seeking to give them. So thank you so much. Have a great day.